Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a certain product that you can buy for about $6. That is a not only a finishing touch to soundproof a wall, but if you don't seal certain areas properly, then it could basically diminish your soundproofing effectiveness by up to 50% in some cases, depending on which wall you're trying to soundproof and how much insulation is in the wall and what you've basically done as your soundproofing project. Now, this product comes from a company called Trademark Soundproofing. There is a link in the description below for their website and how to purchase this product, which is acoustical fire rated putty pads. Now, these types of pads go around the inside of an electrical outlet. You can also put this product around the electrical box of a light because sound can travel quite freely through the electrical box. Because the thing is, if you have an interior wall, let's say, with no insulation, most of the time the electrical outlet will be back to back. So let's say you add a couple of layers of five to eight inch drywall and you do a few things to basically soundproof the wall the best way you can, but the electrical outlet is not taken care of. You have two back to back electrical outlets with holes in them because of course there's holes in the electrical box where the wires go through. And there's a lot of holes that there are no wires going through them because there are located different spots to accommodate different types of wires. So those holes are freely exposed. And where you would put the prong of an electrical cord, those are holes as well, where sound can easily travel right through those holes where the prongs go and into and out of the next room's electrical box and vice versa. So not taking care of everything on the wall could really cost you your soundproofing project. Now, what these things are, you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a pack. And on Trademark Soundproofing website, you can buy them quantity of five at a time or more. And they basically come in these little packets. So basically it's pretty heavy for the size of it. It's pretty dense. It almost feels like the type of putty you would have played with as a kid, but obviously it stays together quite, quite better. The dimensions of these are seven by 7.25 by an eighth of an inch thick. The only thing with this type of product to keep in mind is you can only install it if your wall is open, if you can go behind the electrical box of the outlet. However, if you're not in that situation and your wall is completely done, stay till the end of the video and I'll give you a quick tip on how to seal that gap if you can't go with the acoustical putty pads. Now let's go install it. So here basically you have an outlet and you want to seal it. First thing you do is you take off the wrapper on both sides of the putty pad that is protecting it. And as you can see, it's pretty flexible and it doesn't rip apart very easily. So what you do, you just wrap it around as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And what's nice is these pads are usually bigger than the electrical box itself. So you have a little bit left over to fix some spots that are harder to reach with just your square. You just press your finger all around, around the wires and around the box. So as you can see, it's all around the box, but on the top and the bottom, there's a little spot that I was not able to easily get to. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of the putty pad with my knife, the access, and I'm going to use that access to basically plug any leftover areas that needs to be sealed. Now you take your access piece and you use it to cover the areas you were not able to get on your first go around. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it will all be covered up by a drywall where nobody will ever be able to see it. So there you have it. By installing that piece of putty bag, you ensure that 
there's going to be a lot less gaps and cracks that sound can freely travel to. And it also has an STC rating of 49. And if you're unsure of what STC ratings mean, a video right up here to explain all that to you. And it will better help you on your soundproofing project because then you'll understand a little bit more what that number entails when you see a lot of products being sold on the market related to soundproofing. Now, if you have a wall that's already completely finished and a product like this isn't really something that you can use, then the only thing that you can do without completely removing the drywall and getting behind that box is to add some acoustical sealant around the electrical outlet. Now, if you're unsure of how to do this, video right up here will show you how to get that done. Now, basically all you have to do is take the face plate off and if the gap isn't too wide, then you just add the acoustic sealing around to seal that gap and it will last for about five years because what is good with the acoustical sealing versus regular sealing or regular caulking is yes, regular caulking will also seal that gap, but as the house will shift, and it will basically create cracks around the electrical box where you put the caulking. So in the caulking, where they're shifting, it'll dry up and create cracks. Where acoustical sealant, the whole point of it is to stay rubbery, to not have any cracks where sound can freely travel. So that's the biggest difference. And of course, there is an added price tag to that type of product. It'll cost you about three, four times more for the acoustical sealant versus the regular caulking. But if you think about it, you don't really, if you're building a house, it's not like you have to put acoustical caulking on every outlets everywhere. You just have to basically do it strategically and find out which wall you want to better soundproof, then add that type of caulking there and then use the regular caulking elsewhere to save you money. Because there's a lot of ways that you can spend a whole lot of money soundproofing where sometimes you should have just spent a little bit less and you have as good results. So keep that in mind. So if you enjoyed this type of a content, make sure to subscribe. I know everybody talks about it, but it really helps in the Google algorithm. So basically people find my content on YouTube. So if you subscribe, click the like, and especially leave a comment. That really gives engagement and shows that people like my content. So I really appreciate you leaving a comment, even if it's just to insult me. I'll take it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Feel free to take a look at many of our other YouTube videos and also some of our articles on our website, soundproofguide.com. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own. We will certainly try our very best to help you.